So I'm gonna be honest, this video was supposed to be about Riverside, but then I read the comments on my West Point video, and you guys made me realize that I have absolutely no clue how to pronounce this place. So before I tell you if you should spawn here or not, I'm gonna try and pronounce it. So how I say it is more drag because I just like to sound out every single letter, but apparently that's wrong. According to the comments, you don't sound out the G and it's just Moldra, which is really weird to me because me and my friends have been pronouncing it with a G for like almost a year since we got the game. So this is very strange, but for the sake of not getting bullied in the comments, I'll try to start saying it right. Okay, so now on to the actual video. So Maldra is one of the four main spawn towns in Project Zomboid. In my last video, I talked about how West Point had the best loot, but also had the largest amount of zombies out of all four spawns. So how does Maldra compare? Well, it's kind of the in-between on Rosewood and West Point. West Point has lots of zombies and lots of loot, while Rosewood has fewer zombies, but also not a lot of loot. Maldra has a decent amount of zombies and a decent amount of loot, but let me show you what specifically is in Maldra. So I feel like it's best to split this place into four different sections. The Northern Residential Area, southern residential area, the buildings along the main highway, and then this little southern section here. So starting off with the northern residential area, oh uh, well there really isn't anything up here. Like if I'm being honest this area is kinda ass because it's a pretty large amount of zombies but relatively no loot or any buildings that would pique my interest. The only two good parts about up here is this house up here that would make for a pretty decent base since it's surrounded by tall fences, and then this house over here which if you don't know is the house you started in way back in the day when this game used to have a story and NPCs. But besides those two locations, this area really has nothing for you. So now going down to the southern residential area, this place is actually pretty decent. The houses down here are larger and more protected, since most are surrounded by fences. And right by the fence in the neighborhood, there's a doctor's office, so you can loot some medical supplies. And this area is more towards the edge of town, so the zombie population is much smaller than other parts of town. So now going all the way south, we have, well, the southern part of town. There aren't a lot of buildings down here, but the buildings that are here are pretty useful. You have a police station for guns, a VHS store and bookstore to increase your skills, a storage facility and warehouse that will hopefully have some building materials for you, and then lastly a gas station. And since this area is all the way at the bottom of town, there will be a lot fewer zombies wandering around, so this may be an ideal looting location for you. And now lastly, our fourth location in Maldra is the stores and shops along the highway. Now before we look at what's here, I will warn you that this area along the highway has the largest amount of zombies in the entire town. So if you want to loot without having to deal with hordes of undead, then this place is not for you. But for those of a death wish, let me show you what's here. So for the most part, there's going to be restaurants and fast food places, but there are some more interesting buildings, such as the elementary school, which for some reason was built right by the liquor store. Damn, I kind of wish I went here as a kid. Then behind the liquor store, we have the electronics store. And then right behind the hotel, we have some storage buildings that could hold some pretty valuable loot. Then right above there, we have a gas station. And then if you go all the way up to the very north of town, you'll find a car repair shop and some more storage buildings. And then right above that is my favorite place in the entire town, the large warehouse. This place has an ungodly amount of crates and will hold everything you will need to start building fortifications. And on top of that, this building has roof access so it can make for a pretty good base. So those are all the notable buildings in town. So now we gotta talk about the last thing, the location. So the location for Maldra is weird. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but also not. To the left you have March Ridge and Rosewood, and to the right you have West Point and Louisville, and I say that Maldra is kind of in the middle of nowhere because while well, yes it has all these towns near it, there's still a pretty long drive away, and it will take a good bit of time just to go to and from those towns. But on the bright side there is a little pond to the south of town, so there is a water source. So should you spawn here? Well, it's kinda meh. The loot isn't bad, but it isn't anything great either, and the larger amount of zombies makes it kinda not worth it. It is definitely an easier place to spawn than West Point, but at the same time I feel like other locations have around the same loot with fewer zombies. So I guess the best way to describe this place would be to say it's mid. It's not a bad place to spawn, but it wouldn't be my first pick. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please go down and hit that like and subscribe button, it's the best way you can support the channel, and comment down below if you think Maldra is a good place to spawn in Project Zomboid. And I will see you all in the next one.